Hi, I'm Robin. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to meet a person, Danny Webster. He is an iconic Massachusetts day man during the period leading up to the Civil War. He was accused of being a heartless traitor to the cause of humanity because he was soft on the issue of slavery. This excerpt is from a speech he delivered in the Senate in 1850, arguing for the Fugitive Slave Act as a necessary step to save the Union. This act gave the federal government the power to recover fugitive slaves, people who fled from slavery. Here's my opinion. Of course, saving the union of the country at the cost of sacrificing the liberty and basic rights of a group of people cannot be justified. Never. But despite the compromise he made on slavery finally, this passage gives us a good lesson on what kind of attitude should we take when we are dealing with some critical social issues. So let's get started. Let's take a look at the first paragraph. It is in the nature of man, manifested by his whole history that, religious disputes are apt to become worn, and man's strength of conviction is proportionate to their views of the magnitude of the questions. Let's go through the vocabulary first. Manifest just means show. Be apt to means like tend to. Like worn means intense and fierce. A conviction is a strong belief. Magnitude is significant or importance of something. So basically Webster is arguing that, according to our human history, it is so nature that like people tend to argue intensely on some religious disputes and how strongly a person hold a kind of a belief or opinion has a lot to do with the importance of that issue. 从人的整个历史上可以看出,人的本性就是会对宗教进行剧烈的争论,而人信念的坚定性与他们对这个问题的重要性的看法成正比。then Webster moves on to talk about the kind of person whose attitude should be totally avoided. He says, In the old such disputes, there will sometimes be men found with whom everything is absolute, absolutely wrong or absolutely right. 在所有的这样一些争论当中,有时会发现,对有些人来说,一切事情都是绝对的,绝对的错误或者绝对的正确。They see the right clearly, they think others ought to see it, 他们清楚地看到了对的东西,他们认为别人也应该看到。And they are disposed to establish a broad line of distinction between what is right and what is wrong. 他们倾向于在正确与错误之间建立广泛的区分线。And they are not seldom willing to establish that line upon their own convictions of the truth and the justice of their own opinions. So a double negative indicates a strong certainty. Like not seldom, 双重否定就是等于 a very certain tone. 一个肯定,绝对的一个肯定。他这么说道,他们愿意根据自己对正义的信念,their their own conviction of truth,和自己见解的公正性, the justice of their own opinions,来确定这条区分线, and are ready to mark and guide that line by placing along it a series of dogmas, as lines of boundaries are marked by posts and stones, 并且时刻准备用一路放置一系列的原则信条来标记, 并且捍卫这条区分线, dogmas,这里就是like principle, there are men who, with clear perceptions as they think of their own duty, do not see how too hard a pursuit of one duty may evolve then in the violation of another, or how too warm an embracement of one truth may lead to disregard of other truths equally important. 有些人他们自以为清楚地认识到了自己的职责, 会导致他们违反另外一项职责，或者太热情地接受一种真理，会导致他们忽视同样重要的其他真理。So basically, 在这一段当中, Webster 通过对人性的剖析，给我们展现了我们人类当中普遍存在的一个缺陷。我们很容易固执己见，对重要的问题极端化，为了捍卫自己的真理而损害别人的利益。Let's move on to paragraph two. As I heard it stated strongly, not many days ago. These persons are disposed to mount upon some particular duty as upon a war horse, and to drive furiously on and upon and over or other duties that may stay in the way. Be disposed to, I just mean to tend to, we've seen this before, and mount upon just mean get on, qi shang, or like assume, chen dan. Furiously here just means intensively, So basically, we can translate it as, 正如我前几天所听到的那样,这些人会承担某种特定的职责,就像登上战马一样,用同样的方式进行前进,凌驾,并且颠覆所有其他的职责。So here, like three prepositions are very important. 它显示的这个,这个介词,它显示的动作是相互层层递进的。On and upon and over. 
前进、凌驾，并且颠覆 ，like overthrow 其他人的这个 duty， 其他人的职责。These are men who, in times of that sort and in disputes of that sort, are of opinion that human duties may be ascertained with the exactness of mathematics. They deal with the morals as with mathematics, and they think what is right may be distinguished from what is wrong with the perception of an algebraic equation. Ascertain just means make sure, 去确认 So basically, Webster is saying that 这些人在那种时刻 in times of that sort, 在那样的争论当中 disputes of that sort, 他们会认为人们的职责可以通过数学的精确性来确定。他们对待道德就像对待数学一样，并且他们认为对与错可以用代数等式的精确性加以区分。They have therefore not too much charity toward others who differ with them. They are apt to to think that nothing is good but what is perfect. But here just mean 除了，因此他们对不同于他们的人没有太多的慈善。他们也倾向于认为没有什么是最好的，除了完美的东西。And that these are no compromises or modifications to be made in the submission to difference of opinion or in deference to other men's judgment. 他们认为，在屈服于别人不同的观点或尊重他人的判断这个方面，不能做出任何的妥协和修改。Compromise means 妥协。So basically， 他们绝对不会尊重或采纳其他人的观点。So, 在这一段当中 ，Webster 用了一个比喻，将这些固执己见的人比喻成骑在马背上不计后果向前冲的人。这是我们想起了唐吉诃德这样一个非常经典的文学形象。他们不顾别人的看法，用类似数学的绝对的态度看待所有的问题。Okay, let's get down to the last paragraph. Now, sir, in this status of sediment upon the general nature of slavery lies the cause of great portion of these unhappy divisions, exasperations, and reproaches. Which find vent and support in different parts of the union. Exasperation means great anger, 盛怒，非常生气叫 exasperation. Reproach means like criticism, 批评 So basically, 他说到，现在先生，在这样一种情绪之下，就奴隶制的一般性而言，隐藏着不满的分裂、愤怒和责备的很大一部分原因。So, 他就是说，所有的原因都是来自于这些愤怒、不良的情绪，都是来自于奴隶制。这些不良的情绪在 Union， 它指的是 like 南北的一个联盟 ，North States and Southern States。这些不满的情绪在整个美国的不同地方得到了发泄和支持。所以从这篇文章当中，我们可以看到 ，Webster 认为奴隶制这个问题太 controversial， 太具有争论性了，大家都有不同的意见。所以他呼吁任何一方都不应该以一个非常极端的方式来解决这个问题。事物都有两面性，他呼吁的是一个 compromise， 一个妥协。So what's your opinion on this？ 最后问大家几个关键性的问题：是不是所有的问题都需要一分为二来看？像压迫黑人、明知故犯的恶，是不是也要一分为二来看？为了整个 union， 整个联盟，整个国家，或者我们换一个更加让大家所熟知的一个词，叫大局。为了这个大局，顾全大局，我们是不是可以牺牲一部分的利益？因为 Webster 在 Fugitive Slave Act 上面的让步，宣布了他政治生涯的死刑。虽然在离开 Massachusetts 之后，他也担任过其他重要的联邦职位，但是这个让步永远是他政治生涯中非常不光彩的一笔。在下一集的视频当中，我们将看看 Harry David Thoreau。梭罗《瓦尔登湖》的作者对这个问题是怎么看的 ？See you next time. Bye bye.